Welcome to Review Monster 101. This review includes 22 multiple choice questions to review for Unit 8 of the Common 9 Unit Series to prepare for the AP Psychology exam. After each question, I will offer a brief explanation. For reviews of the other 8 units, please subscribe. It helps me out and allows me to make these freely available review materials. Grab a beverage and snack. It is time to unleash your review monster. Let's begin. 1. Which acronym refers to the four criteria often used to identify abnormal behavior in psychological disorders? A. AMID B. UMAD C. ODD B. UMAD UMAD stands for unjustifiable, maladaptive, atypical, and disturbing, which are the four criteria used to determine abnormal behavior in psychological disorders. These factors help professionals assess whether behavior falls outside the normal range, considering its justification, adaptation, typicality, and disturbance. Two, which psychological perspective suggests that maladaptive interpretation of events contributes to psychological disorders? A. Cognitive B. Behaviorist C. Biological, Biomedical A. Cognitive the cognitive perspective emphasizes how self-defeating or irrational thoughts and maladaptive interpretations of events can lead to psychological disorders. This perspective focuses on how people's thoughts and perceptions influence their emotions and behaviors, contributing to the development or maintenance of psychological problems. Three. Which psychological perspective places a significant emphasis on chemical imbalances and genetic predisposition as causes of psychological disorders? A. Humanistic B. Biological, Biomedical C. Psychoanalytic, Psychodynamic B. Biological, Biomedical the biological or biomedical perspective places substantial emphasis on the role of chemical imbalances in neurotransmitters and genetic predispositions as underlying causes of psychological disorders. This perspective explores how biological factors such as genetics, brain chemistry, and physiology contribute to the development of mental health conditions. 4. Which psychological disorder involves complaints of physical illness despite no identifiable cause according to medical professionals? A. Conversion disorder B. Dissociative fugue C. Hypochondriasis C. Hypochondriasis Hypochondriasis is characterized by an individual's persistent complaints of physical illness despite medical reassurance that there is no clear cause for the symptoms. Conversion disorder involves experiencing severe physical symptoms without any identifiable biological cause. Dissociative fugue refers to sudden amnesia where individuals become disoriented and lose their sense of identity. Five, what psychological disorder involves switching between multiple distinct personalities or identities? A. Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID. B. Panic Attacks. C. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD. A. Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID. Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID, commonly known as Multiple Personality Disorder, involves an individual dissociating from their true identity 
and experiencing distinct and separate personalities or identities that control their behavior. Panic attacks involve episodes of intense anxiety, while OCD involves unwanted thoughts leading to specific actions to alleviate anxiety. Six, which psychological disorder involves individuals experiencing sudden amnesia and feeling disconnected from their surroundings, seemingly without a biological cause? A. Conversion disorder. B. Post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD. C. Dissociative fugue. C. Dissociative fugue. Dissociative fugue refers to an individual experiencing sudden amnesia and feeling disconnected from their surroundings without a clear biological cause. Conversion disorder involves severe physical symptoms without a clear biological cause, and PTSD involves flashbacks and nightmares of prior traumas. Seven. Which disorder is characterized by experiencing extreme mood swings, alternating between extreme highs, mania, and lows, depression? A. Major depressive disorder. B. Bipolar disorder. Manic depressive. C. Dysthymic disorder. B. Bipolar disorder. Manic depressive. Bipolar disorder, also known as manic depressive disorder, involves extreme mood swings, alternating between periods of mania, elevated mood, high energy, and depression. Major depressive disorder is characterized by persistent low mood, while dysthymic disorder is mild, chronic depression. Eight. What is a key factor correlated with schizophrenia that involves an excess of a neurotransmitter and has been linked to hallucinations in patients with Parkinson's disease? A. Serotonin B. Acetylcholine C. Dopamine C. Dopamine Schizophrenia is correlated with an excess of dopamine, a neurotransmitter in the brain. This has been observed in patients with Parkinson's disease who experience hallucinations when taking medications that increase dopamine levels. Serotonin and acetylcholine are neurotransmitters that play roles in mood regulation and cognitive function but are not specifically linked to schizophrenia in the same way as dopamine. 9. Which disorder involves experiencing depression triggered by a reduction in sunlight during specific seasons and can be treated with light therapy? A. Major depressive disorder. B. Bipolar disorder. C. Seasonal affective disorder. SAD. C. Seasonal affective disorder. SAD. Seasonal affective disorder. SAD is characterized by depression occurring in specific seasons, often due to reduced sunlight exposure. Light therapy is a common treatment. Major depressive disorder involves persistent depression, and bipolar disorder involves alternating between manic and depressive episodes. SAD is specifically linked to seasonal changes in light exposure. 10. Which personality disorder is characterized by a pervasive pattern of disregard? for and violation of the rights of others, often accompanied by deceitfulness and lack of remorse. A. Paranoid personality disorder. B. Obsessive compulsive. C. Antisocial personality disorder. C. Antisocial personality disorder. Antisocial personality disorder is the correct option. While the names of most personality disorders hint at their symptoms, the term antisocial in this context doesn't refer to social withdrawal, but rather describes a pattern of behavior that disregards others' rights and lacks empathy or remorse.
Paranoid personality disorder involves distrust and suspicion, and obsessive-compulsive personality disorder involves perfectionism and control issues. Eleven. Which psychological disorder involves a persistent pattern of attention, deficit, hyperactivity, and impulsivity, often interfering with daily functioning and behavior? A. Autism. B. ADHD. C. Eating disorders. B. ADHD. Attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, is characterized by persistent patterns of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity that can significantly interfere with functioning. Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, involves challenges with social communication and repetitive behaviors, while eating disorders are characterized by abnormal eating habits that can have serious physical and psychological effects. 12. What was the main takeaway from the David Rosenhan study that simulated mental illness in a psychiatric hospital to examine the labeling and accuracy of treatment for the mentally ill? A. Accurate diagnosis. B. Accurate treatment. C. Labeling and accuracy of treatment. C. Labeling and Accuracy of Treatment The study primarily highlighted issues related to labeling and the accuracy of treatment for mental illness. It demonstrated how individuals without mental illness were admitted to psychiatric hospitals and labeled with a diagnosis, emphasizing the difficulty in distinguishing between sanity and insanity, as well as the potential for mislabeling and inappropriate treatment. The study raised concerns about the reliability of psychiatric diagnoses and the effectiveness of mental health treatment. 13. Which historical treatment method involved the belief that putting holes in the head would release evil spirits and was intended to cure mental illnesses? A medical model. B. Electroconvulsive Therapy, EECT. C. Trephining. C. Trephining. Trephining was an ancient practice involving the drilling of holes into the skull, believed to release evil spirits and cure mental illnesses. The medical model refers to the approach of treating mental illness as curable, similar to physical illnesses, while electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, involves electric currents through the brain to treat severe depression. 14. Which form of therapy aims to reveal unconscious thoughts and emotions by utilizing methods like hypnosis, free association, and dream analysis? A. Biological therapy. B. Psychoanalytic therapy. C. Preventive Psychology B. Psychoanalytic Therapy Psychoanalytic therapy is an insight therapy focused on revealing unconscious thoughts and emotions. It involves techniques like hypnosis, free association, where patients say whatever comes to mind, and dream analysis. Biological therapy refers to treatments involving medications, surgery, or other medical interventions, while preventive psychology focuses on preventing mental illnesses. 15. Which therapy-related problem occurs when a patient expresses strong emotions or feelings toward the therapist instead of addressing the actual cause of those emotions, such as their parents or other relationships? A. Resistance B. Transference C. Secondary prevention
B. Transference. Transference is a therapeutic issue where patients redirect strong feelings or emotions they have towards significant people in their lives, like parents or siblings, onto the therapist instead. Resistance occurs when a patient disagrees with the therapist's analysis, hindering the revealing of unconscious thoughts. Secondary prevention refers to getting treatment for those at risk. 16. What therapy involves exposing the client to what they typically avoid to reduce fear and anxiety gradually? A. Counterconditioning. B. Systematic desensitization. C. Exposure therapy. C. Exposure therapy. Exposure therapy involves gradual exposure to feared objects or situations to reduce anxiety over time. Seventeen. Which behavioral therapy technique aims to replace strong emotions with more relaxed ones by teaching the client gradual relaxation techniques? A. Counterconditioning. B. Systematic desensitization. C. Token economy. B. Systematic desensitization. Systematic desensitization involves replacing strong emotions with relaxed ones through gradual exposure. 18. What method involves pairing an unwanted behavior with an unpleasant stimulus to discourage the behavior's recurrence? A. Aversive conditioning. B. Modeling. C. Implosive therapy. A. Aversive conditioning. Aversive conditioning pairs an unwanted behavior with an unpleasant stimulus to reduce its occurrence. 19. Which therapy involves challenging and replacing irrational thoughts with rational thoughts, focusing on cognitive restructuring? A. Cognitive therapy. B. Rational emotive therapy. C. Token economy. B. Rational Emotive Therapy Rational Emotive Therapy, developed by Ellis, emphasizes cognitive restructuring by replacing irrational thoughts with rational ones. 20. Which humanistic therapy encourages clients to explore their whole self, including their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors? A. Gestalt therapy. B. Existential therapy. C. Client centered therapy. A. Gestalt therapy. Gestalt therapy, introduced by Pearls, focuses on integrating different aspects of the self into a coherent whole. 21. What form of therapy aims to help individuals find meaning and purpose in life? A. Gestalt therapy. B. Existential therapy. C. Client-centered therapy. B. Existential therapy. Existential therapy focuses on exploring and finding personal meaning and purpose in life. 22. In what type of therapy are multiple clients brought together for mutual support, allowing them to realize they're not alone with their issues? A. Existential therapy. B. Gestalt therapy. C. Group therapy. C. 
See Group Therapy. Group therapy involves multiple clients receiving support and learning they are not alone in their problems. That concludes our review of Unit 8 of the Common 9 Unit Series for the AP Psychology exam. Please subscribe for more reviews on AP Psychology and other AP courses. Good luck with your preparations and studies. I hope you find great success on the exam.